friends. In today's video, I'm gonna give you three tips to help you master the piano pedal. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to get to know your pedal. The reason this is so important is because every single pedal is different. It's kind of like the, the clutch if you're driving a manual car. If you've ever driven different manual cars before, it's like some clutches are so easy to push in and they have like no resistance. And then some clutches are really, really challenging to push in and it takes like all of your leg muscle to get them to go in. The same is true of the damper pedal. So I want you to sit down and put your right foot on the pedal. Make sure that you've got the ball of your foot on the pedal. And I want you to just take some time to really slowly push the pedal down and then slowly come all the way back to the top. And the reason that you're going to do this is because every single pedal, whether it's acoustic or digital, has a little bit of space at the top where you can actually push the pedal down and nothing about the pedal mechanism is engaging. On my piano, I know that it's about a fourth of an inch. When I go to play on other pianos, that is one of the very first things that I do is I just kind of like play around with the pedal a little bit to see how big that gap is at the top. Because when we're pedaling, we wanna minimize the movement. We don't want our foot to be coming all the way off the pedal and then slamming down. It's distracting and it takes a lot more effort than we need to make and it usually makes a pretty clunky sound. So if you can find that space at the top of your pedal where nothing is happening. You can find the spot where the pedal does engage and that's the magic spot. That's where you want to hang out and that's where you're going to kind of go from when you need to play and when you need to use your pedal. So you need to spend that time getting to know your pedal and getting to know exactly when it engages and exactly the distance from when it engages to when it's all the way down and then vice versa coming back up. The second tip and trick is to learn how to use your pedal. I actually have another video where I demonstrate a really easy exercise and that would be a really good thing to use for the tip that I'm about to share with you. So I'll link that other pedal in the description below, but take one note and maybe just practice playing one note or one chord, play the note on the piano, push the pedal down, let the pedal go back up. And now you're essentially doing what you did in the first tip, but you're applying sound to it. So now you're actually gonna play a note with the pedal. And so instead of just relying on the feel of your foot, you're gonna rely on the feel of your foot, but also how it sounds and what's happening with that sound. Exactly when do you hear the pedal engagement? Exactly when do you hear the pedal clear when you're lifting your foot back up? That's a really important thing to know about your piano. Now my last tip is to know some exercises and to really get in touch touch with your foot so that you can send clear signals all the way down to your foot and have your foot cooperate and do what you need it to do when you need to pedal in your piano music. I have two quick exercises that I alluded to that I also explain more in depth in that other video, but you can start by having your foot on the pedal and just counting out loud and putting your foot down on beat one and up on beat four. So we'll do that two times together. I'm going to use my hand instead of my foot. You can use your foot or your hand. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can repeat this exercise over and over and over again to help you get in touch with giving clear directions to your foot. When is it going down? When is it going up? It seems like such a simple concept, but when we're worried about so many other things, when we're trying to play notes and rhythm and dynamics and all of that stuff, it's really complicated. So simplifying it down to this exercise makes it so much easier. Another great exercise is for legato pedal, and it's similar, except for that the motion is a little bit different. We're gonna go down on beat one, and then we're actually gonna do a really, really quick up down on beat one to keep the legato sound so there's not actually a gap in the pedaling so it goes like this one two three four one up down two three four one up down two three four one up down two three four it's more complicated but that's the actual pedal that we use in most piano music so that's a great exercise to spend some time with now if you are not already in my free facebook group go ahead and join the link is down below i give tips tricks advice you can ask questions and you can connect with me there personally and i would love to have you happy practicing hey you do you feel lost in your piano practice are you overwhelmed because you have beautiful music inside of you and you're just not sure how to practice to let that music shine practicing the piano can feel super overwhelming complicated, confusing, and sometimes even frustrating. I know this because I've totally been there, but it doesn't have to be. You can sound better at the piano now by practicing smarter, not harder, even if you've been at this for years. If you're ready to take your piano playing to the next level starting today, head on over to my website to check out the Casual to Confident Piano Player program, where you're gonna get guidance on every single thing that you need to do in order to sound better at the piano starting today by practicing smarter, not harder. I'm so excited to see you there.